Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, we'll be answering the remaining questions that are being asked on my YouTube page. So, without further ado, let's get it on. Sir, salamat po. Nakakuha ako ng idea. Of course, you know what? I actually did this videos because when I was applying for my NCLEX, nangangapa din ako. Kaya, gumawa na ako ng videos. Next question. Sir, nagwo-worry po kasi ako dahil may dalawang klase yung Form 2F. Yung isa revised nung 3-2018 at yung isa naman po ay 3-2023. Ask ko lang po kung okay lang kahit alin sa dalawa ang gamitin ko. So with regard to this, if you submitted the old form, it's okay. But it would be better if you will really use the new form. Pero konting changes lang kasi yung tinignan ko kasi yung old form at saka new form. Konting changes lang naman yun. But it would be better if you will really use the new form, which is the revised form that was made on March 2023. Another, what if you're not RN po or you don't have a license sa Pinas? Can I just submit a form or a 2F form? Thank you. So that's the good thing about um, having an eligibility or taking an exam in the state of New York because even if you're not a licensed registered nurse here in the Philippines, you can still proceed with NCLEX examination. All you need to do is to accomplish the Form 2F and then proceed with the Form 1. Next question. Yung sa do you hold an RN license in another state or U.S. territory? Ano sinagot mo dun? Sorry, medyo naguluhan ako kung yes or no ang isasagot ko. Hey, for example, RN sa Philippines. Is it no? So with regards to this, it's actually asking for um, a license in the U.S. territory. So the answer would be no. But under the experience, diba, may, sa Form 1, may experience doon. Ang ilagay nyo naman dun is yes. And then, dun sa jurisprudence, ilagay nyo is Philippines. Next question. Hi sir, is it okay to take training courses two weeks before doing Form 1? Yes, it actually depends on you. You know what, when I was applying for my NFLEX eligibility, what I did is, um, I took my training course I think two weeks before but if you can do it an hour before doing your form one it's okay next so meaning po pag may ATT na kailangan within six months maka-exam na po sorry ha makulit ako nangangapa talaga ako eh paano po mag-apply for exam na if may ATT na. Yes, once you have ATT, you need to schedule your examination on the given dates. Because my expiration ng ATT. Ang eligibility in the state of New York walang expiration. Pero ang ATT, it's only valid for 6 months. Next question, hello po. Sa pag-send po sa PILFOS, ano pong address na nilagay mo? May nabasa po kasi ako na dapat daw po address ng school. And also po, need ko po ba i-wait na ma-receive sa NYSD 2F and 3F ko bago mag-start sa form 1? Sana masagot po. Salamat. I already answered this question. And you know what? The only thing that you need to do is Again, to fill out the first page of the forms 2F and 3F, pupunta na kayo sa school nyo and then sa PRC and then sila na ang bahala. Hindi kayo yung 
maglalagay ng address. Kasi they will not acknowledge that one. And with regards to um, they need to wait na ma-receive dapat ng NYSE din yung forms 2F and 3F. It's okay. You know what? The best thing that you need to do is bigyan nyo ng palugit or a grace period. For example, you're done with forms 2F and 3M and 3F and then after a week, that's the time that you accomplish your form 1. Next question. Nice video. I have a question like, do they send an email if they have received all the necessary documents? To answer your question, no. The OPNYSED won't send you an email if they have received your document. The only thing that you need to do is to track your documents because your school or the PILFOS or the PRC will give you a tracking number and you'll be the one to track kung nasaan na yung um, documents nyo. Next question, hi po. Need po ba talaga ng high school diploma? Saka nag- SHS or senior high school po kasi ako. So, ilalagay ko lang po SHS ko. Bali, two years po. I'm actually graduate of the four-year um, high school. So, with regards to this question, it would be better if, yes, you can actually submit your senior high school diploma lang. But it would be better if i-attach mo din yung um, diploma mo sa junior high school. But it would be okay because the NYSED will send you an email kung may lackings kayo. Next question, what other documents are to be submitted by our college to the New York Board of Nursing other than Form 2F and Transcript? Just watch my video and you'll see kung what they actually need. Well, I'll be answering here once again. What you need to have is a transcript of records, RLE, and then the first page or a copy of the form 2F. Next one, hi sir, regarding sa both form, handwritten ba or need computerized ang pag filled up? So, when I was actually doing my um, application, it's actually handwritten yung sa akin. But it depends on you if as long as readable naman yung um, penmanship nyo, that's okay. Walang bearing yung computerized or handwritten. Depends on you. Next question. How much does it take for it to process the form? So, what form are you actually asking here? So, with regards to the forms 2F and 3F, it depends on how you accomplish or comply with this thing. But with regards to the Form 1, you need to do it on one sitting. So you will not have a problem in the future. Next one, hello po. Yung other name po, yung maiden name, no it's not. If the other name is actually, if you have uh, or you use other name, you have another name. For example, um... Yung mga Maria, di ba? Tapos, gumagamit sila ng ma. Parang ganun. Next one. Hi, about uh, item number 5, telephone can be left blank kasi di magkasya ang atin PH number. Yes. Di ba? If you watch my video, I didn't actually filled out the number 5 section. What I only did is filled out the email part. Next question, hello po. Paano po i-continue yung application sa Form 1 
mag-wait po ulit ako ng after 30 days. So, I already answered this question. I asked her to message me directly. So, you know what? There is already an update in the OPNY SED. And once that you did not finish your um, Form 1 application, you need to wait for 30 days. And that's the time that you can do your form one again so it would be better if you really need to finish the form one in one sitting from step one until the payment of 143 us dollars and last question hi po pwede bang mauna na yung pag submit ng documents rle diploma sa new york bago mag submit ng form 1f Tumating na po kasi sa NY yung documents ko. Di ko pa po na-accomplish yung Form 1F. So with regards to this, there's no such thing as Form 1F. There's only Form 2F, 3F, and then Form 1. And to answer it directly again, what you need to do is to accomplish the Form 2F and then 3F and then give um, a grace period of at least one week and then that's the time that you finish or you accomplish the form one hey guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel it's about time to click the subscribe button now and click the notification button for it to get notified with my latest videos that's it for this video I hope you were able to learn and I was able to answer your questions. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.